Ladies and gentlemen, this is four guys, a girl, and a turtle. We join our heroes on a mid-afternoon hike, led by a kindly forest ranger named Mike. But a foul smell wafts through the air. Turn up steps forward, his eyes in a glare. He calls forth the sands, and they whip to and fro, as out from the shadows steps a threatening foe. A vicious reptile with sagging pants regards Turnip with an intimidating glance. Turnip retreats, not ready for this fight. Crossroads charges forward, showing his might. Close combat does hurt, but it's not quite enough as the Scrafty retaliates with a plus one drain punch. Bent but unbroken, Crossroads attacks again, only to be met with Scrafty's best friend. The attack that had done so much before now passes right through without even a score. Crossroads must retreat to regain his strength while the turtle himself steps up to the plate. But the creature vanishes as quick as a flash, replaced by some siren ready to clash. But Shellington knows no fear and smashes in haste, not ready for a moon blast that lays him to waste. The clouds above darken and lightning strikes. When storm enters the field, his enemies say yikes. The siren takes cover, avoiding the shock, forcing Galvantula onto the chopping block. Against the raging storm, what more can the spider do than lay up some webs and hope its team can come through? Enter a swirly-headed monkey with powers of fire, playing an invisible piano with skill to admire. The storm stops for now as Turnip returns, triumphantly taking the blast without getting burned. With confidence, Turnip sets rocks on the field, knowing the piano man would be forced to yield. The anchor-like creature appears once again, but Turnip prepares, unleashing a grin. The anchor spins, removing the rocks, and is caught off guard in Turnip's sandbox. Hurt and afraid, Delmise attacks with a whip, and falls to the damage from the rock's helmet equip. The sand at her back, Ghost leaps to action. The sun rises and her plan gains traction. A risk she must take, Ghost dances with swords, leaving herself open to attacks from the hordes. She is struck by a stone, barely living the hit, but with plus two attack, it surely is lit. This solar-powered rock, Ghost now owes a debt, and with a single blow, the sun is now set. Out from hiding, the siren returns, but fear of Ghost is a lesson well learned. With her last bit of strength, Ghost levels the fish, serving the match to her team on a dish. The piano man is back and he continues to play, but stops cold in his tracks at the sight of Dante. The monkey does fall to the banded crawdad, leaving only the scrafty still scantily clad. With victory near, Dante launches an attack, not caring about what power he might lack. With a solid punch, scrafty drains his life force, filling Dante with a feeling much like remorse. Not ready to retreat, Dante continues his assault, giving his enemy the chance to bulk up. Thunder booms in the distance and the advice is taken. Dante finally retreats, now the storm is in session. Shrugging off the punch with not but a flinch, Storm unlocks his power, normally saved for a pinch. A second punch crits and it is all in vain, as Storm unleashes lightning without any rain. The damage is done, though the Scrafty still stands. It's only a matter of time until the next attack lands. With the final punch, the storm now settles, leaving Scrafty waist-deep in a garden of nettles. The Scrafty pleads, taking a step back, as Dante lines up his final attack. But mercy is only for those who deserve it. Only start a fight if you're sure you can preserve it. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Four Guys, a Girl, and a Turtle. Please join us next time when we reach the next hurdle. Leave a like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. But if you didn't enjoy, you must surely be blind.